Hey everyone, it's finally here. It's finally time. I finally got it all together and it's time for the craft room tour. So here we go. So you walk in this room and it is actually a guest room slash bead room, craft room, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we have a bed in here. It's kind of a weird bed. <laughs> We have to get a mattress for it. Um, our friends gave it to us and they thought it was a queen size bed with a queen size mattress, but it is a queen size bed with a full size mattress. So yeah, we got to get a, a new mattress for it. But anyway, it, it works for the time being. Um, there's the little wall art that I did the tutorial on earlier today. And then you come on around here and we've got the craft room. So I am absolutely loving this craft room. Um, I've got this desk here and we ordered this, gosh, it's been a year ago at Christmas now. And um, we put it up a while back, but I love it. It works great. Um, it's got the little shelving down in there. And Chris put up this pegboard for me. Um, these are really inexpensive and a great way to organize things. Um, we went to, I don't know if it was Home Depot or Lowe's where we got it, but it was like five bucks and I brought it home, spray painted it white, bought the kit that went with it that had like the, uh, all of the little pegs and stuff. That was only around 10. So for $15, I ended up with a really great storage system. So I have my I Am Not Afraid of Spiders sign up because I am very afraid of spiders. But my friend Chris Ann got that for me. And so I keep telling myself that if I keep looking at it and telling myself I'm not afraid of spiders, then maybe I'll get past it. But yeah, it hasn't happened yet. In fact, I bought a big can of Raid Spider Killer yesterday to keep out on the back deck. So yeah. Um, the pegboard kit came with these little containers which I thought were really cool. I've got toothpicks in one, safety pins in the other. And then it just came with all of these little pegs that you could hang things on. This is my loom thing. These are all just um, little necklace things. And then these three little bins I got from the Dollar Tree and I love them. I think they're adorable. Just hang them with these little pins and they have um, bead soup in them. So this is my purple bead soup. There it is purple bead soup, blue bead soup. <laughs> so there's my bead soup. Um, then I made a flower arrangement to go in here just to kind of give it a little classier touch <laughs> so it doesn't look so industrial. Um, got a sign from the Dollar Tree that says blessed, which I definitely am. And then we've got flashlight, hammer, a couple screwdrivers, thread burner, ring mandrel, and an assortment of scissors. Um, and a pair of pliers up there, some DMC thread, and then a shelf with miscellaneous things, my paper cutter, um, you know, just that kind of stuff up on there. So there's the pegboard. I love the pegboard. I'm not kidding. I love it. It's just, you know, it has so much potential for storage and you can make it kind of pretty too. So um, then we get down to the craft desk. So I bought this Michaels has these on sale. Every, well, they don't go on sale, but if you have a 50% off coupon, you can get it for not very much at all. And it is very handy. Um, I keep things in it that I use constantly. There's my um, tripods. These are the tools that I use for jewelry making nonstop. I had a pair of scissors in there. I guess I stuck them back up there. Reading glasses, um, some jump ring openers, some Allen wrenches. These are jewelry tools, and then they have these little drawers in here, too, you can put things in. So I just, I keep things here that I use a lot. There's a wire jig. And then behind here, I have all of my bead storage. Um, these are, like, lamp-worked glass beads. Um, beads that don't have multiples of them, like they're weird shapes, odd shapes, um, focal beads things like that. So I have, these are the Dollar Tree acrylic containers. I love these. And I have, you know, each color separated out. Um, and that's the way I store like anything lamp work glass or just odd things that don't have, you know, I can't put a bunch of them together. So a bunch of alike ones together. This is filigree and some little cabochons. Um, pendants down here and chain buttons seashells back in there more buttons 
more chain, noodles. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I love these containers from the Dollar Tree. They're so great for storing this kind of stuff in. So then you come around here and Chris got this light for me um, from Amazon. I'll try to link the link below if I can figure out how to do it. I'm still not really great at this <laughs> recording stuff, but um, I love this light. It hangs down on some strings from the ceiling, but you can like raise it or lower it however you want it. We put it kind of low because the TV's up there. So whoops, sorry. Um, and still I have to have extra light. I just can't see very well <laughs> anymore. So. Um, there's my little thing I can wear on my head with magnifiers. Um, these are these are lipstick containers that I actually, um, let me see if I can get a better, yeah, there we go. Metallic Mousse from Hard Candy. But these make great little um, safety, oh, not safety pins, straight pin containers or beading needles in this one. And then I say a, a stapler and tape and then I've got all of my sharpies down here and all of these shelving units came from Michaels um, I get them with coupons like 50% off when they have their sales or not sales when they have their coupons come out and I've bought them over time but they work so good for me I love them um, then down here are more of the acrylic containers from Dollar Tree we've got head pins um, lots of head pins, rings like you use to connect in jewelry, eye pins, clasps. Um, those are all things that I use. The stuff that goes right here in front is stuff that I use all the time. So it has to really be something that I have to have within arm's reach. So except for the decorative stuff up there. But um, so in here, these are all the containers from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love these containers. Um, they have little grooves in them so stuff doesn't fall like if it gets turned upside down. And all these little compartments and they're just fantastic for storing your little jewelry findings and stuff. So um, I have these jump rings that I ordered a while back from Amazon and I haven't moved them out of those containers just because <laughs> I just haven't had the time really. But you know all these are labeled and I labeled the front and the other side. I labeled both sides because I found that when I shoved them back in there, if I don't, if I didn't like have the labels facing out, it was a pain. I couldn't tell what was what. So I just labeled both sides and no matter which way I shove it back in there, I'm going to be able to tell what's in it. So, you know, jump rings, collared jump rings, toggles, crimps, crimp beads, covers, and wire guards. Ear wires, gold bead caps, silver bead caps, copper bead caps, <laughs> more ear wires and links, connectors, and spacers. Um, so those were are what I put a lot of my things in. See, I have tons of those. I mean, I have everything in them. Um, but these containers are also from the Dollar Tree. And these are in there. Um, the others are usually in the craft section or the school supplies. These here are in the tool section, and again, they have these little things that keep the beads from flying around too much, but these are what I put all of my crystals and teeny tiny, like, you know, two and three millimeter sparkly beads in. So, I, they're all color coded. I'm very OCD. <laughs> but they're all color coded, and so these are where the teeny tiny, like these little true twos, um, that's where all of the teeny tiny like sparkly things go I don't know I have a system it probably makes sense to no one but me but it is my system and it works um, up here I have delicas in those containers also and then again um, down here these are also really good for charms I have these are all metal charms um, so the charms are in there and then down here I have a little Tupperware container, and that's bead soup. That's the bead soup that needs sorted out to go in the other bead soup containers. And I can only do a little bit of that for a while, at a while, and then I just get so, like, oh, it's tedious. So I'll do a little, then I'll quit. So, yeah. Um, this, this shelving unit right here actually had a shelf in the middle, and I took it out, and that's what's making that shelf up there. I just like take things apart and put them how I like them. So um, these, this one and this one right here, this one that's got these in it and this one on the end are actually the drawers that go to my rolling cart. 
and I just turn them on their sides and they work super great for storing all of those things in them. So, you know, I'd rather have them, they make more sense to me to use them like this than they do as drawers. Um, these little ones right here are drawers also out of a smaller storage. They actually came out of that storage unit. <laughs> so, you know, I just take things apart and do them the way I want to do them. Um, so there's the glue gun. These, I usually take one of these little drawers and put it over here to put my tripod on when I'm filming. So um, it's handy for that. Then underneath the desk, we have my hoodie fell off. Um, we have shelving, shelving, and I've got, there's my little tiny iron. Look at it. Isn't it adorable? Chris got this at Walmart for me. Look at that. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It is a teeny weeny little iron and it works perfect for tiny, small little, you know, projects. Um, we have the Alexa thing in here because Chris is determined to talk to me no matter where I am in the house. Uh, there's a bead spinner back there. Those are the uh, cloths and stuff that I use when I take pictures. Down here we have resin. This is all resin stuff. Um, alcohol inks. Those are the finger or the, um, excuse me, yeah, fingernail polish holder acrylic containers from the Dollar Tree. They're perfect for storing alcohol inks. So again, that's all resin stuff down there. That's my travel bag. And then on the end of this is a shelf, and I have back here notebooks on the bottom, um, sequins, glitters, all this is glitters and sequins and stuff for resin. And these little containers are from the Dollar Tree. They come in a package of like 12, 10 or 12 for a dollar. And I, all of the storage stuff is from the Dollar Tree except for like the wooden stuff, you know, that's from Michael's. And again, I used 50% off coupons and just bought it over time. And it's, you know, it's great. Um, I've got the drawers there that I use. I've got some pens and I'm not going to open them because <laughs> when we put the desk together, we put the screws in wrong and they're hard to open and you have to like shove them back in there. So yeah, it's a pain. But anyway, they do have stuff in them. <laughs> um, then I have these rolly carts. Um, I got these from Michael's like ages ago and I've been using them to store my beads in that are, let me see, how do I explain this? Not lamp worked glass beads, but just other beads that have, um, hmm, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Let me just show you. <laughs> um, so this one, for instance, white, clear, and cream. So these are all beads that I have multiples of. I guess I should say it that way. And I can put them all in a container together, like all the little pearl, four millimeter pearls, all the eight millimeter white, you know? So those all go in here. And the bigger quantities go in these containers from the Dollar Tree. Um, smaller quantities that go in here, and this, these are from the Dollar Tree also. And then here's even the smaller size for just things I just have a few of. But this is my system, so I don't really know how to describe it. Like, these are beads that I have a bunch of each one. Those up there are beads that are like focal beads or special lampwork glass things or, I don't know, I don't have like, you know, even five or six of each one. I may have two of each one, so they all go up there. But there's white, clear cream, black, gold, brown, multi is like... Just multicolored stuff. <laughs> um, silver. Then in here I have wire. This is all wire. These are sometimes hard to get back in. Thread in this one. Cord in this one. And then these are all kid beads. <laughs> these are a mess. I really need to sort through them and separate them out. But yeah, it hasn't happened yet. That's low on the list of priorities. But those are the beads I use to make like mermaid tail necklaces. And then there over here, there's red, pink, green, green. Green needed two containers. We have a lot of green. Purple, orange, yellow, blue, and again, with turquoise, we have a lot. So two turquoises. Um, I actually don't care for the fact that these are multicolored. I would rather have them 
be like clear or white. I don't know why I bought multicolored. That was, I don't like a bad design decision on my part, but I may, I thought about even spray painting these. Like I know you can get spray paint that will adhere to plastic. So yeah, if I get really bored one day, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Um, I've got the roll of paper towels up here. That's a necessity. And then I have pictures of the kiddos, Logan and Landon, and one of me and Chris. As you can see, I like lava lamps. <laughs> lava lamps everywhere. Um, and my Scentsy warmer, that's necessary too. I like things that light up, if you can't tell. There's my little tree for displaying jewelry. Um, we have a pretty view out the window here. This is our neighborhood. Oh, they're gone now. There were little squirrels down there on the squirrel feeder, and they were being really cute, so I was kind of hoping they would still be there, but it looks like, oh, they're out there in the yard. You can't see them. Oh, yeah, maybe it will let me zoom in. There they are. I don't know if you can see them, but there they are. <laughs> I love to watch them play. They are so cute. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's been really loud here today. We live close to Fort Bragg. And they have been exploding things. Like, <laughs> I don't know. They call it testing. That's what everybody calls it. But when we first got here, I thought we were being attacked. It scared me to death. It, it was in the middle of the night. Like, on a weeknight. No, no, it was a Friday. And it was in the middle of the night. And we could hear these, like, booms that shook our house. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? I mean, it's really, it did scare me. But, um... It's Fort Bragg, and they're doing their testing, whatever testing is. Um, but anyway, yeah, they do it, like, randomly at all times. And today, a bunch of, like, jets have flown over. We could feel, we could hear machine gun fire. Um, yeah, it's been a different world living here in Fayetteville. <laughs> Interesting, but a little scary. Um, so anyway, then I have this shelving unit that's back in here. And this has got some tubs on top with deco mesh, and this is um, storage stuff. And then this is, this has been an, an interesting um, adventure, the seed bead <laughs> adventure. I wanted to buy what they call curtain wire, which hooks into the wall like it would hook in here and over here. And it's a top wire that goes across, and you have these curtain clips that are rings with a clip on the end that would hang on the curtain wire and hang on my seed beads in little bags. That was the original idea. Okay, well, curtain wire is extremely expensive. Oh, the squirrel's back on the feeder, or he's down there. Curtain wire is extremely expensive, and it um, I needed like five or six of them. So, come on, do something cute. Don't just sit there. So, um nix that idea i was like okay that is not gonna work so what can i do instead so i thought of these tiny little tension rods okay he's not gonna perform sorry i thought of these tiny little tension rods that walmart sells and i thought okay i can stretch them from side to side and hang on my seed beads on those with the curtain wire clips i was gonna buy those well the curtain wire clips were like 6.97 for 14. And as you can see, I have a lot of seed beads up there. So that wasn't gonna work. So I was wandering around Lowe's and I found these and these are great for this. These are called plant clips and they're just spring loaded little clips, but they work perfect. They fit right over top of there and hold the baggies. Well, I bought all the plant clips that Lowe's had and I haven't been able to find any more. And this worked pretty good, except for the tension rods are definitely not strong enough to hold multiple bags of seed beads. So I had to come up with this, um, what are these called? Cable ties, cable tie chain <laughs> to support it in three different places. <laughs> so anyway, it works. It's functional. It may not be so beautiful, but I have all my sixes and eights hanging up there. And um, I can see them all, which is nice. I can just come up here and look at them. And since I like ran out of money and plant clips, I put all of my 11s and 15s in these acrylic containers from the Dollar Tree because 
These are really easy to see them, and I thought, okay, you know, if I'm working on a project, I can just pick this up, carry it over to the desk, and I won't have to stand here. You know, I don't use the 6s and the 8s as often as I use the 11 and the 15. So, I don't know if I will end up hanging the 11 and the 15s or not, or just leave the 6s and the 8s hanging. I don't know. Anyway. It's been a process. <laughs> um, these little lights that I keep blinding you with, sorry, these are Dollar Tree lights. And let me turn it off. They just flip on and off and they Velcro up and they're really, really handy. You can get them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I like them. They take three AA batteries. But they put a lot of light out on my shelves here and I really like that. So then we have a tub with acrylic paints. Um, I just have basic supplies over here in tubs. This is stamping, or um, what are these called? Not stamps, um, punches, <laughs> goodness. This is ink pads and stamps. <laughs> these containers came from the Dollar Tree, these ones with the Pretty Little Mermaid thingies. These came from Michaels, I got them for like $2.99, and they are cool. They have like an insert inside there with a tray on top that stuff sits in, so. Um, and then there's Chris in an Eiffel Tower, and then this, is all nail polishes, and I don't use nail polishes to paint my nails hardly ever. <laughs> I use nail polishes for um, coloring things, marbling things, other than nails. So, yeah, I'm weird. This in here is all polymer clay stuff in this box. I think I got that box at the Dollar General a long time ago. It was like on clearance or something, but I thought it was really pretty. Then down here, we have scrapbooking paper scrapbooking embellishments, and metal stamping stuff. Those two bottom boxes are Just Fab shoe boxes. <laughs> they come from Just Fab, and I think they're pretty, so I keep them and use them on my shelves. <laughs> We've got the Vacation Fund and a little vase of fake flowers. I've been using those flowers and things. That's just where I store them. Back here is um, all my labeling stuff, like my stamps, um, my paper that I use to tag my jewelry. That's what all that is. Then down here we have some binders, some books, um, Bible study stuff. This, I got a great idea off of, I don't know where I got the idea, but it's a file folder. And if I can open it one-handed, I will show you. Um, it's great for storing stickers. So I haven't labeled them yet, but I've separated them out in here. And I don't have a ton of stickers, but you know. It's just a great way to store them, and then I will label them on the top, like, you know, holiday stickers, Christmas stickers, or, I don't know, whatever, cupcake stickers. <laughs> I don't know. But that's a great way to store your stickers, is in a accordion file like that. And I've got some magazines down here, and back there is mailing stuff, like shipping stuff for when I need to ship stuff out. And then the rolly cart here. I've had this thing forever. Um got some plaster of Paris down on the bottom. This is what the drawers went in that are actually up on my tabletop. <laughs> um, again, I use the acrylic containers, the nail polish containers from the Dollar Tree to store puffy paints. And um, these are some kind of inks I don't even know how to use. They're called glitter ink. And I don't know what you do with them, but they have glitter in them, which and I got them on clearance at Michael's for like 10 cents a piece. <laughs> so I bought them. I thought, I'll figure something out with them. Um, but there's some stickles back in there. And then some little um, bling, blingy stuff there. The gems from the Dollar Tree. Some acrylic flowers. So um, on the rolls here that I think wrapping paper is supposed to go on, I put washi tapes. I'm not a big washi tape person. I have a few. But, you know, I'm not one of those people that has thousands of them. So that worked fine for me. And then it has this divided section up here in the top. And I've got um, skewers and cable ties, glues. Lot, mostly my glues are up here. There's some paint brushes and some the X-Acto knife and that stuff. A little, few little scissors. So that's that shelf. And then this is my chain hanging uh, system. I got these geode hooks from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I got four. They had four different colors, and I got them all, and I hang chain on them. So silver chain on one, gold, um, copper, and then like antique golds on the bottom. But that works great for um, hanging my chain. And it's easy, and you know, I can grab what I need. Then we have the closet. Now the closet's kind of a mess. 
still. I mean, it's organized, but it's a messy organization. So I have a dresser in here <laughs> because I had no place else in the house to put the dresser. <laughs> so it's in here, but up in the closet. Check it out. I mean, I had no idea I had so much craft stuff until we moved here. It's ridiculous. But that clear tub on the top has just like weird crafting, just all miscellaneous crafting stuff in it. Um, these boxes up here are actually photo boxes. Like they have all these little photo things in them. Um, but I had other stuff stored in them. Most of the stuff is now out on the desk in those little Dollar Tree containers. So I think I may actually put photos in those because <laughs> I need to organize them. Um, that's all storage right there. Storage containers, which I apparently have an abundance of. And so is that. All of that stuff is storage containers, mostly from the Dollar Tree. But I guess I bought too many thinking that I would need that many. I don't, I don't. But anyway, they're there. So if I need them, they're there. This is all spray paint. Um, that is my file box with my business papers in it. And there are some winter clothes. There's some more storage stuff in the all important step stool. Let me tell you, that thing is a necessity because I'm a short girl. And then in these drawers, I have like photos, tons of photos. And just stuff like that that needs, you know, I don't know. It's not really stuff that I use too much. This is all finished jewelry right here. This is all jewelry that, this right here is all jewelry that needs to be taken apart. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm not even on this camera. Sorry. This is all jewelry that needs to be taken apart. You know, I hate that job. And then there's finished jewelry in there that I need to deal with. Um. So anyway that's the closet and it's pretty messy and it's gonna bother me until I like get it really nice but I haven't had a chance I've been busy with all this other stuff so um anyway that's the craft room I've got a few things stored under the bed but I won't you know that's just nothing that you'd be interested in but I really it's very functional for me and I think it's really gonna be um it's great I love this room oh it's peaceful in here I love that I can look out the window and see the little squirrels down there on the feeder if they're down there and I just love it I love that I can look out here and you know just see around and the room feels light and airy and I just really like it in here so that is the long way to craft room tour it's not a huge craft room um, like I said I have to share it with the guest room but it's my space and I love it and I'm probably will continue to organize as time goes by. You know how you kind of make things your own. So um, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I wanted to let you all know that I did get the job at the jewelry making place. I'm so, so excited. I start in a couple of weeks and I'll be making costume jewelry like for pageants and stuff. Oh, I can't wait. I'm just so excited to get to go to work every day and get paid to make jewelry. So, um, I'll probably be doing a lot of work in here at that point. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the evening. And if you like the video, um, like it on Facebook. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you haven't, hit the little bell. Um, hit the bell and it'll notify you whenever I upload videos. Um, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you that has subscribed and I'm trying to grow the channel. When we get to 300 subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway with um, a necklace and earring set. So um, help me get to that 300 and we'll do a giveaway. So it's been great and I appreciate you all and have a great rest of the, the evening and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!